Brute forcing is a trial and error method used by hackers to gain unauthorized access to a system by systematically trying every possible combination of username and passwords until they find the right one. Personally, brute forcing is not one of the best methods because it's so popularized in the cybersecurity field. So whenever someone makes a password, in the back of the head, they always have brute forcing and so they're going to make a secure password. Or unless you're trying to hack your high school crush, which who am I to judge? In this wonderful demo by DVWA, we have here vulnerability brute force, login, username and password. Traditional username and password login field. And from the last video, we know that the username is admin from here in the SQL injection, user, user ID 1, first name admin. So we know the username is admin, but we need to find the password, which we don't have. So we do admin and let's just try A, nothing, admin, B, nothing, admins, C, that's basically brute forcing, but that, as you can see, is super slow, and we're not gonna be able to try every possible combination of passwords. But thankfully, we have various tools for that. First off, we're gonna try uh, burp suit. Here we type admin, we turn on proxy proxy, we turn on burp suit, we go to burp suit and we turn intercept on. We type anything and burp suit intercepts it and here we have username admin and password a we right click and send to intruder in the intruder we to highlight what we want to what we want the payload to try so we do um we want on the password on the instead of a we want we press add and then we pay, uh, we load our payload i have this sample payload password list.txt and here we have a password list since I already have here A uh, highlighted, we can just press start. One, two, three. Okay. And here it's already started. After letting it run for a while, here we can see all of them are status tuner codes. And you may be thinking, well, how do we know which one is the right one now? We can check here in the length. Here, um, nearly all of them have a length 4,702 4, or 4,703. So we know the same thing is being outputted. So we can just uh, filter by length. And right here we have password. To, uh, I don't know why it's password is two times. Has a different length, meaning we got a different output. Uh, for anyone wondering, it's 4,741 bytes. So we take this password and we type admin. Password login. Oh, it's still being intercepted by Foxy Proxy. We just save a proxy box and we press login once again. Uh, refresh the page. Password. Login. Welcome to the password protected area, Edwin. Wow, we brew, successfully brute force it. There's multiple methods, but in this uh, in this video, I'm going to show one more one more method, which is Hydra. Hydra is a very good, nice tool. Here we can see. Let's see. We have the password list. Hydra. As you can see, I already typed the command, so we can easily go through it minus l lowercase l which lowercase l means we we try only one username and if i were to type minus uppercase uh, l we would have to type a uh, username password list uh, password file for example username.txt and hydra will go through each row in that file in this case we know the, the name is admin so we just type minus lowercase admin minus B, same goes for the password, a lowercase p for only one password, uppercase p for the password list. Password, then let me just go password. HTTP, the request method, in this case our request method is get. If, if here was like post, uh, post, we would type HTTP post form, but in this case it's get. HTTP get form followed by then uh, followed by the link, in this case is my IP, because it's running localhost, 10.0.2.2, vulnerabilities, slash brute, this is the, where the login, for, login page is located, then log, then we need to tell where the username field is located, it's located at user, then password field is located at pass, then we need to give Hydra a trigger uh, for success or, uh, or failure, in this case we saw here, um, let me just turn proxy proxy off. Let me try a admin and a and user username or password is incorrect. It's using word incorrect. So we can use that here to tell Hydra filter this. Uh, it's incorrect. Don't don't show it to us. And we can send this one, two, three. 
And here, hijack goes in, tries login admin and password admin. One of one target successfully completed, one valid password found. 